Hey, what's up? How's everybody doing? Um, welcome to Food for the Soul. Um, I guess I should call this um, Food for the Soul the sporadic poster. <laughs> um, but I'd love to be here more often. But just sort of like the way my life is, I'm not sort of, I don't have the capacity to do this quite often um, as I'd like to, because um, I do like to talk. So I'm surprised I, you know, I haven't made more time to just ramble on with you guys now. Um, but yeah, I can only do what I can. So today I want to have a conversation around self-sabotage and how that, you know, tends to rear its ugly head or, you know, can be a symptom of um, trauma in our lives. And I want to start with a story as usual because I quite like stories and analogies. It helps me um, very well to remember things, how they sort of like, um, you know, leave a lasting impression, so to speak. So I have this friend um, I've known for over two decades. We've been friends for the longest period of time that I can recall. Um, he's one of my oldest friends. Um, and... You know, since we were young, you always would say, you know, I, I want to have a strong foundational relationship with a woman of my dreams. Um, and he would list out these incredible qualities that she needs to have or he would like for her to have. And surprisingly, he would always find that woman. Um, she would be smart. She'd be intelligent. She would be caring. Um, she would be supportive. She'd be all of the things that he made on this um, list that he, you know, sussed out, you know, from his from his early days. And so, but but something would happen every time he would come to me and he would say, you know, I found this incredible woman and she's all of these things. Little after that, you know, shortly after that, things would always fall apart, and I'd always would wonder why that's the case, you know. And and from those conversations, it. it it, it seemed or felt like based on what he was telling me he would be the one that would end things whether it you know he would distance himself from that woman whether he will um you know sadly be unfaithful to her or whatever it may be he would always have this thing where he you know he ruins it you know he sabotages the relationship that he's been looking for all of his time and I always wondered why that's the case. And sometimes I'd think about it. And then one day it hit me. I've never actually heard my friend talk about his father before. Not once in the entirety of, you know, those two decades that I've known him for, you know, mentioned anything about his father. And so I sort of quizzed him on that at some point. And it turns out that his, you know, his father left him, walked out on him and his, his mother. Um many moons ago and then that's where it, it hit me you know and I thought to myself I think that my friend has a has abandonment issues he's afraid that the people that he loves when he finds them um, when they come to him he's afraid that they'll leave him and so before that happens he then does what he thinks would be the you know self-persevering thing self self-preservation i think that's the word what he do is he would actually um before that happens he would just leave you know he would do the abandoning he will try and alleviate the possibility of him having a added scar to his life of someone else leaving him and so oftentimes that's like a clear you know sort of i guess example of where that can be a problem or where that is you know where that is clearly okay when you're doing these negative things because this bad thing has happened to you you know you can see some correlation there however you know it's not always that often and so you know ever since then I have to check myself as well to try and identify and see you know where in my life am I self-sabotaging because it doesn't have to be just in in like a, a romantic relationship it can be in our careers you know our work it could be in um our friendships maybe we always um maybe we've been told by people that we never you know really amount to anything and so you know when we do have a good job when we're in that good career we feel the need that okay then let me just 
let me just mess it up because you know I have imposter syndrome I've never meant to be here you know I've come from this background I've been told I'm not supposed to be here and then they just you know self-sabotage by ruining their career and and obviously there are aspects of that same scenario going on where someone's like well, okay well I'm going to prove everybody wrong I'm going to prove to them that you know in actuality I you know I'm not this monster or person that everyone has made me out to be I'm more than that and I'm going to prove everyone wrong and we hear that in in loads of stories we hear that with you know football players basketball players um you know tech billionaires um multi-millionaires who are you know have their business empires that kind of stuff we hear that from so many different people i'm going to prove everybody wrong but then you have those invisible voices the people who they they quietly you know fall prey to the lies that they've been told or to the experiences that they've had in their lives that okay then you're you know i'm worth nothing i'll i won't amount to anything and so because I've been told that for all my life, I'm going to act accordingly. I'm going to ruin everything good that's ever been in my life. And oftentimes, you know, people often, you know, people, people do that because it's not that it's not it's not also because they don't, um, you know, that's what people say. You know, It's also because they they they, they think that they don't they don't believe that in themselves you know that's what it brings a a huge part of self-doubt that they don't believe that for themselves you know I have this imposter syndrome I'm not supposed to be here so when they face difficulty or come across a hard rock in that path that they're walking on they just you know they let go and they just accept the inevitability they don't fight for the positions that they've gained or for the favor that they've had in their lives they just say okay then well this was a bound to be happened you know, happen at some point in time. I mean, for me as a as a black man, I can you know, I've heard arguments from other black men and black women and, and you know, coloured people around the world where they do say, Okay, then it's just a system, you know. I was you know, I could have only gone this far anyways because I'm black. I could only do this because of that or because I was born in this specific area. And you get to realise it's not just what people say to is a you know it's a facet of things it's because of race it's because of you know where you're from so your demographics as well your your income level it's because of your ability your capability and it's because of all the people who you know surround themselves with you in your life and I found when I was growing up that I never once in my in my life thought that I could go to not that not that I could that I couldn't go to but I never had a intention or ambition to go to somewhere like Oxford University or Cambridge or or any anywhere else like that because I just thought to myself those people and myself were different and I'm not cut out for that space it's not because what anyone told me but it's a it's an underlying prejudice that I've ingrained into myself from what my environment has shown me from what I saw in the media from what I saw in these different things unconsciously uh, I might add it's not like anyone was saying this it's just that and the culture that I'm from reflected it as well you know no there was no one to have you know within my culture that provided big aspirations to say yes you can go to these spaces and so I never I never once thought that the dream could be possible for myself and obviously um, well, thankfully, not obviously, but thankfully, you know, I, I worked hard at school. I, I put my head down and I just I thought to myself, the one thing that was ingrained into me is that the quality of my work and how I carry myself in public in the world is a clear reflection of um, my upbringing, the people who loved and raised me, you know, including my my parents and my you know my sisters, my brothers, my community, that kind of stuff. And so, for me, I thought to myself, I need to do life and do life well because of all of these different people. But sadly, there are many of us out there that don't have that. They don't have, you know, a group of people who said to them, okay, then. You know, when you go out into the world, you're not just representing yourself. You're representing a idea, a ideal and a dream of people who came before you. 
um, kind of stuff. And that in itself can also be a burden in, in some instances because, you know, someone's like, you know, I'm the only person who went to university in my family, who was going to university in my family, who was doing this in my family. No one's done it before. I'm the first. And, you know, a lot's riding on this and they can buckle under that pressure as well. So, you know, it's a twofold thing. But everything that we do in this life has, um, you know, an upside and a downside. And so... You know, for for me, when it comes to stuff like this, is to is to say to everyone, you know, really try and be mindful of, you know, in your life, things that you you do, and the things that you say. To say, for instance, if your dream, if you if you go to the the hills and back, and you tell everyone these are the things that you want for your life, but every single time you 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 work towards them or you or you do something to move forward to that dream you do the opposite everything that you do to move forward takes you backwards for that dream so if it's a relationship if it's just to say in your marriage if it's education if it's to build a business everything that you do for that dream that you said you wanted you are doing the opposite to achieve it then you need to sort of ask yourself okay, then why is it that I'm trying to sabotage myself? Why am I trying to ruin my dreams? Why am I trying to ruin and and, and break the things that I said that I loved and I want to achieve not only for myself, but for my family and for my friends and for my community and for my country? You know, because often we don't even, you know, we don't think that big. We think on small micro scales. We don't think on macro scales as well. You know, what is it can we do for our country? You know, in the grand scheme of things and being a being a a a being a individual who um does all the things he needs to do to sustain his family his community being a productive individual in your society is you know one of those means which you which you do drive positivity um for your country because you know someone will see you and want to reflect that through themselves in themselves and you know if you do have that trauma you realize that maybe a father has left you um a girl has hurt you a a man has hurt you um someone has committed some violence or you know tr you know pain to you um and you realize that because of that trauma you're holding on to a lot of pain a lot of grief and you feel less off, you know, and you treat yourself that way and you live your life that way. You know, I advise you all if if it's not possible for you to, you know, pull yourself up by your own bootstraps. Not all of us are capable of that. You know, there's a saying in um, Jamaica is that what's not, you know, not even just in Jamaica, in, in the world, um, what's good for the goose is not good for the gander. And so... You know, not everything's going to work for, not every one thing is going to work for, for everybody, right? Not one thing's going to work for everybody. So if you've been trying to do this all by yourself, you know, and it's not working to come out of some bad habits, um, you know, bad lifestyle, you know, try and find someone that can help you. Surround yourself with new people. Surround yourself with people that want to do the opposite. I mean, there's no one who wants to be an engineer um, or wants to be a social media influencer, a police officer, a astronaut, or whatever it is, you know, big lofty goals to the smaller ones that people care about. Anyone who wants to do those things, they just meet the people that want them and can teach them and can show them so that they themselves can grow and they themselves can learn and experience more in that area. And so it's the same when it comes to this. If you If you want to you know, come out of this self-sabotaging um, part of your life and, and avoid this trauma that you're, that you're facing that's causing you to hurt yourself. You know, find some new people that will help you to develop new habits that will take you to new spaces and provide with you new experiences and give you a new way and how to see life. Literally, just shift your perspective on who you are as a person, you know. Um... And if there's not one good friend in your friend group or one good person in your life that can do that, 
um, then we have a problem there with the people who you who you know and associate yourself with, and you know, even if there is that there are those people, but they don't even have the time or the energy to do all of that kind of stuff, then seek some professional help. Um, there are loads of people who are online who um, you can go different places and just say, "Hey, I'm going through this." I'd, I, you know, I'd love to have a conversation with someone who's experienced this or has seen this, who can, you know, give me some professional help. Or you can, you know, take the take the next route. You know, if you do have the money to, um, you know, get stuff done like this, you know, go see a clinician or find some government resources that you can get for free. Whatever the case is, um, you know you have to make a decision to do something um before it's too late you know before we we wreck everything that we've ever cared for in the entirety of our lives and so yeah that's um it from me i will just sign off now hope everyone has a incredible day 